I think Diables, in terms of how their draft plays out, both teams fairly close range. Mid range AD carry and mid laner though for the side of Pensanet, but so much dive on the Diable side. To me, it is about execution. It is just going to be team fighting. It is most likely just going to be by Appy's Nautilus. So we'll have some windows, even though the flash is down, to maybe get a little bit aggressive like Plays this. We on. noticed Shunfire is in the bottom tri bush. When's that hex flash going to come on out to try and find the angle? Just going to step up to the wave. But it jumps in. Two man grabs him. Hook. They found their target. They found their kill. Will they settle for one or will they find two Shun? Takes the turret at Groat and says maybe a little bit too sweeper in lane to what value, right? Yeah, because he's walked past the vision to try and set up for this and has not considered vision would be there. I really love awards like that. I think that creativity can be used so well. Appy's. Oh, that's a really nice handshake. And that's Appy completely fluffing the hook away. He gets punished. Decoy is going to reach into stalemates leading into 40 minute games. Or does AFK winning for every objective spawn to just pull out 50 kill bonanzas? So, not quite sure what to expect. And will that just be game one jitters? Is this one of those games where it just sets the tone for what is to be expected in this best of three? Well, Schoenfeis jumped in. He's forced Poltron across the wall. Out goes the Moonlight Vigil onto three. There is the Glacial Orb, but there shockwave. is the two-man Shockwave. And there is Decoy in a lot of trouble. He will not be bailed out. The Dragon resets and the fight continues. The Feathers, they get ripped back and Appy is down. Now Violet still charging forward with no matter to his name, but flashing on your head. He's getting a little bit insane. Looking for another Ooh. kill. But that's a massive route to prevent any further blood. And I mean, as the dust settles, no top laner gets involved. No top laner can teleport. But a very bloody exchange between these teams as it's two kills apiece. And the objective can't be touched. Poltron might look here. Find oh, Violet. No, Violet is in trouble. Cataclysm on his head. There's a headache. And I hate to wonder, but is that a case of going to the recall and you're looking at the shop? I think Violet just makes a mistake in terms of where he was recalling when the uh, display of just mechanics being showcased there nullifying with every single ultimate or move and trying to overcommit either fighting again stick but we'll, we'll pick up that uh, drake and find themselves now a fight after to fight themselves out of this river the shockwave goes out but it's not enough for a one shot not this early on at least churn fire tag up there with a sonic wave and as a flash is forced for what could have been a follow-up hook Drake. You know, Flash is not being available, however, look at the Pentanet side and consider that there is a Jarvan staring them down with a completed Gore Drinker there. So it can be pretty dicey. Chaz also has his Flash back and available, which means the Tibbers is up. Well, there we up. go. That's a little bit of a junk into the mid lane and saying you don't have any way to get out of this one. There's a fireball to the head. Sweet dreams for you indeed. Rod of Age is complete. And the kill's secure. And it's bound here. Very hard to dive a Renata when she has the ultimate on, especially with Violet. Uh, he can cleanse it, actually, so the dive is possible. Great, oh, the focus. Sonic Wave has gone out. Moonlight Vigil, that's going to force out that one. Te oh, Appy's just hit the wall again. Two-man knock-up, and there is the hostile takeover. There is Predator looking for a kill, but he can't get the reset. He can't find what he needs. He'll find at least one. But Violet survives off, and Shun fires. So, so close to falling two. In my hands. No matter how long he's been around for, I think playing since 2017. Ooh, that was very... Very close there from Poltron as he jumps in and gets kicked out into a shutdown. Violet's happy oh, about that Zorinus. one. He cleanses himself out of harm's way. Appy goes golden. And that is going to be Zorin is completely isolated from the rest of the team. Going to get punished, going to get taken on down. Unless a body slam buys him enough time. No, a ward hop. A great Moonlight Vigil or a really nicely set up green weapon. I mean, to be honest, oh, Zorin is. Yeah, Zorin is going to really have everything thrown at him. And may just code. still live to tell the tale. He's going to flash away. Now four members committed towards taking him. There's the TP to try and back him up. There's a flash and a no, straight into a wall. Cop the boulder and get put to rest. As now Poltron isolates out Violet, who just says, come at me, I'll take you on. <laughs> Nearly gets taken Chaz. on down, but it's not to be the case. Chaz was that cavalry, was that answer, but even he's not enough to 1v4. I mean, Chaz lost their control as Poltron. He's Speaking of losing positions. Yeah, in a bit of trouble right now. He went for the widest flank imaginable, but then realized, hang on a minute, it's not looking good for me. Flashing out there from the ult. How about a second ult to the face? The fadeaway kick, once again, for Violet to collect. I mean, he's not even using the collector here, but he's look at mid lane. Ask the same question I did, even though I went for Diables as well. Where is the faith? Yeah, where is the faith? As Zoranus now is going to try and deliver it for those Diables fans in a 1v3. Predator for waiting in the angle. Never was really a true participant in that one. Close on out, but is it all uh, said and done really at this point for Diewolves? We've yet to see them really try and re-engage and start off a fight. They've definitely been on the receiving ends of picks. But we get to see a full 5v5 for what feels like the last 10 Ooh. minutes. That is a lot of crit damage. 
And then as a tip is right onto Schoen's head, he's gone. He's dead. Poltron's found it. That's what they've been looking for. And that's a flanking TP. In comes the hostile takeover. And look how much damage goes not onto Violet because the shield is still standing. In jumps Shippy. He's looking to try and corral them with a flash and a nar, but it's not to be. Elf and G's. Oh, that's a massive flank there from Zonus right now. But what can he find with it? The ult's already been expended. Has to go golden. Utilize Renata that to ult. great success. There is the Renata ult. Just too short. It doesn't hit anybody. Zorin is still the one being run on. Dan Decoy grateful that he's out of range for that final execution. There is the Cataclysm. Shock there wave. is the Shockwave. And there is the two kills going the way of Direwolves. Can they find more? They've been forced to run the opposite direction from their own base. And surely Pentanet walk in and take the inhibitor. You... Has been disengaged away from Pentanet. Going to keep it alive and start Chippies. pushing again. Chippy jumps in. Two men off. There's Depth Charge. Knocked them up. And Decoy's gone. He's just the dead. Hit. There's the hook, instant feather call, and down he goes, Shunfai is dead. And now oh, the oh, massive oh, shot, what was that? Doggy, out of the break into this, I wasn't prepared. And then he may just run down Chaz, who's got a shield. Zorin is dying off screen as well, and Pentanet can do no wrong. Oh my god. I mean, if you missed the first 34... Because the flash remains. Oh, oh they found their target. There it is. Oh, Shunfai's got away. He's pulled out a magic trick and said, you think you found me? Oh, you're so sorely mistaken. And Dying will stay needed that. Yeah, that was... This game came down to breaking the base or not with this Baron buff, and Dial was trying to stop that by being proactive. Freyden almost gets one hit. And the base is in shambles. Dival's in absolute shambles. It's a nightmare from here on out. Yeah, maybe one of those situations where you already figured about game number two right now, but maybe one last hope. Appy flashing on in. Depth charge on the crate of two man knockup. Back to the base you go. As in jumps Poulter and he goes golden, but nobody around him to back him up. He can flash, but he's still gonna get shot against the wall. Once again, the CC layering is a little bit too clean here from Pentanet. There is that late game double kill. Make it a triple here for Dongy to make his KD look oh that much sweeter. And out of the pools and into the victory screen as this game one will come to a conclusion. Almost a blink and you miss it situation.